What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, my name is Equal Espresso, and today I'm bringing you a second video just because Call of Duty released the gameplay trailer for the map Freefall, which was a pre-order bonus if you guys are not aware of that. It looks freaking awesome and we're going to take a look at it here today. Firstly, my first impression of it is that I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. The attention to detail is seriously stunning in this and I know I've been saying that a lot about Call of Duty Ghosts and recent videos, but it's seriously the truth. There is a ton of stuff that really didn't need that much attention but they're just like fuck it we're gonna put that much attention in it and it blows my mind at how well done it looks how well the map itself looks to be laid out to be playable and to just interact with the players themselves and on the topic of interaction with the players we're shown throughout the video a bunch of stuff where the map itself is going to change where there's lines of sight that are varied, uh, various interactions with the map itself where the players can get an upper hand or get the shaft in gameplay situations. But overlooking the map as a whole, it looks to be somewhat of a Nuketown 2025 type feel in where it's really tight quarters, it's got some open areas, but it's got narrower lines of sight, it's got high engagement and close quarters combat, and it just looks to me like it's going to be an all around super fun map to play, and it's one that I think the community is going to love genuinely. So now that the trailer has played in the background all the way through, let's take a look at some key points in my opinion that really matter to the map and how it's going to play out. First, we're going to start about 25 seconds in and you're going to see just what I mean about close quarters combat. The camera shows a wide angle shot of the hallway in free fall and it looks super close quarters. Like you can see, there's very little room to navigate through. You got some broken walls for cover, but other than that, the straight through is absolutely super tight quarters. Fast forward about 10 more seconds and you'll see a wide angle overview shot of the map itself and you can see that it is extremely open as for aerial support. So if you're trying to get away from those air dominated kill streaks, well, you're going to have a tough time with that because it doesn't really look to be much protecting you in the way of roofing unless you are on the second or lower level of the map. Also in the trailer, we are shown the actual map falling from the building in which it was connected to and we were told that each map is going to start off with some sort of cinematic gameplay type thing instead of a normal loading screen and this is something that I think possibly may be the free fall cinematic opening because it is something that it falls drastically and granted I know that the map is going to fall and teeter back and forth while you're playing to create some new lines of sight to change the map itself to alter how your gameplay must be played but falling that drastically and fast well I think that would have to be an opening cinematic or an ending cinematic similar to what Nuketown 2025 did in which the nuke dropped at the end of the match. The next thing that I want to talk about is multi-tiered combat this is something we haven't really seen too much in previous Call of Duty's it's been there at times but it hasn't been as prominent as it looks to be in this trailer. Trailer. And the reason I think this is important is because the entire map has interactive features and a lot of the glass work in the game itself is breakable and can lead you down to the different levels of the map and it's something that is going to create different types of play styles and different types of engagement that you're going to see in gunfights. Now finally the last thing that I have to talk about with this trailer is the fact that not only are players going to be able to change the surface of the map but the map itself is going to trigger events such as were shown in the sniper battle portion of this video. The slight tremor that the map has as if the map was falling creates an air vent to move out of the way and then open up a line of sight at a sniper looking at another sniper and it results in a brand new line of sight. This is something that's very cool because we knew from the get-go that players would be able to alter the map but the fact that the map itself is going to have such drastic changes and be able to take on new lines of sight, new alterations of the map in general, it's going to be awesome. But that has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Equal Espresso. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy it. And remember, shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are greatly appreciated. Remember to hit that subscribe button for the best of Call of Duty Ghost videos. And thank you guys once again so much for watching. I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.